Hello, besties, and welcome back. Welcome if y'all are new. It is your girl, Jazzy J, on the mic. And this is Earth Vibes Tarot. This is a Capricorn-only channel, but y'all are all very welcome here to the messages y'all already know. Sit back, relax, take a chance, my love. Smash your like buttons, leave a comment down below. Just don't forget to make sure that y'all are all subscribed here to the channel for more content and for more of me. We are going to dive into a What's the Tea reading. Y'all know these are kind of like the more... <laughs> down to earth personal type readings um trying to stay away from like the spiritual stuff and just really kind of get into the nitty-gritty and what the tea of the situation is capricorn we're gonna start the reading off with our shout outs first shout out is gonna go to phyllis 26 red phyllis you have been here commenting for a while i know it's kind of like a like a glare, but Miss Phyllis, I love you. I appreciate you. I have been replying to you um, for quite some time now, and I want to shout you out. You're absolutely amazing and beautiful, and I thank you. I appreciate you, and I love you. Mama, thank you so, so much. The next shout out is going to Zenful Soul Goddess. Zenful Soul Goddess, you are another one that has been here. It's not like, you know, every single day, but I see you, I notice you, I love you, I appreciate you, thank you for your comments, thank you for your support, you are seen, you are loved, and you are heard, baby. And then Tiffany Hearn, one night eight seven one nine eight seven Tiffany Hearn, Tiffany, baby, you are so pretty, you are such a beautiful soul, I love you and I appreciate you, so thank you, I'm shouting Tiffany. She is another one. These people don't comment. I'm not going to listen. They don't comment all the time. But let me tell you, I see them and I love them and I appreciate them. And I feel their energy through those comments. And this is this is why I do the shout outs. Y'all don't have to do anything, anything different to get a shout out. You just got to just be yourself in the comment section. That's it. Because I, I see y'all and I notice y'all and I love y'all. So those are the three shout outs for this reading. I'm going to put y'all in the the tag y'all guys in the first comment i'm gonna pin you so let's go ahead and get into let's get into the juice let's get into the juice y'all let's start let's start with the the big blue big blue what's going on with you big blue what's going on with you angel spirits and guides thank you so much for bringing capricorn and i together for this what's the tea reading we are jumping into these messages we're trying to see what messages want to come through for the capricorn collective those that are rocking and rolling here with us those that are just loved and appreciated in the collective as always those are that are my besties my friends my people act now think later capricorn Capricorn, act now, think later. What is going on? What is going on, Capricorn? Show us what we need to see here, please, for the Capricorn Collective 777. Spiritual support, spiritual guidance, spiritual help, angelic help. What's going on here, please, Spirit? Show us what we need to see for this Capricorn. Bro, if y'all want a confirmation, there it is. Capricorn, Capricorn, gang, 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 gang. Gang, gang. Look at this. We have Virgo energy, enemy disguised as a friend, planning a move. Capricorn, gang, gang. I feel like you are being spiritually supported in some sort of move here in your life. And we have this Virgo energy, enemy disguised as a friend. Enemy disguised as a friend. There's going to be somebody here that's coming in. And I feel like with this Virgo energy, this is somebody that's in your day-to-day -day life. This is somebody that's jealous of you. This is somebody that is, they're not liking what's going on. And this somebody is against you. Wish granted blank energy winter. This is like a, I think this, is this a blank space energy? I don't, I don't think, I don't, I don't know if this card is even supposed to be in there. <laughs> y'all i'm crying wish granted winter and their ex somebody is bitter as fuck somebody is bitter as hey coloto very bitter very bitter why because your wish is granted Capricorn, and whether this is your ex or whether this is your ex's now new ex, 
because this person is watching you, this person is looking at you. They're big mad. Big mad. Capricorn, act now, think later. Act on what you feel. Enemy disguised as a friend. There's somebody who does not have your best interests at heart. Give us one more here for this enemy disguised as a friend. Hit and run. Yeah. It's like this person's going to do something and run, run away and try to blame you for it. Tell us about this Virgo energy. Wow, we got Virgo, Aquarius. You've been ignoring your gut and they really miss you a lot. So you could be dealing with a Virgo or an Aquarius or you could just have Virgo or Aquarian energy in your chart. Capricorn. I mean, have you not been listening to your gut? We've been talking about that anyway, and they really miss you a lot. I feel like you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius or Virgo. And I feel like you've been sensing this person, sensing their energy. They do miss you, but I don't. Mm -mm. Look, yeah, bottom of the deck is karma. Libra and autumn it's time for a change this is mm -mm. and to be honest with you this hit and run energy enemy disguised as a friend now that we see this they really miss you a lot you've been ignoring your gut this is even attached to somebody who is trying to lie to get back into your good graces trying to lie and tell you oh it's finna be no it's finna not be mm-mm it's finna not be. We not finna do that. That's what we not finna do. Mm -hmm. That's what we're not finna do. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm saying? Like that's, that's, we're not doing that. That's beyond the spectrum. Show us what we need to see here, please, spirit. For Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter as it relates to this energy from for, uh, for Capricorns. So we have... Listen, don't let you've been receiving insight, you've been receiving clarity, and it almost feels like this enemy disguised as a friend Capricorn energy. Listen, you are past this. That's why they're trying to come in as something when they're not. We have Christmas and we have balance, something significant about Christmas or about this holiday or about winter. And then a situation needs more balance. S listen, this could be talking about your energy, Capricorn, your birthday, and you needing more balance, meaning let's teeter, teeter the fuck off of this right whoa okay leveling up capricorn you are leveling up in life exactly which is why this person's energy or person's energies are trying to come in and i feel like this person is literally just like coming the fuck out of nowhere it's like in and then like dodging the fuck out all right, show us what we need to see here, please, Spirit for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. What is the scoop here? Show us more for the situation. Let's see, what do we... Okay, so let's take a look at this. They really miss you a lot. You've been ignoring your gut. This Virgo Aquarius energy. Tell us about this, please, for Capricorn. Guidance, humor...
signs and symbolisms. And hidden truth. Capricorn, yo. Spirit is like, listen, I have been trying to tell you, show you the signs about this. I've been trying to guide you in a certain direction. And basically what they're saying is you need to relax. You need to relax, Capricorn. Laugh a bit. Laugh at what? Them. And don't hold back your true self and who you are. You've been given the signs to make the choice, make the decision. Fork in the road, the grass was fake and something significant about Thanksgiving or about that fall holiday. Making the decision here to follow your guidance system and not consistently be worried or revert back to this past energy, which there could have been something that happened around Thanksgiving, <clears throat> something or other. But this feels very freeing, like you're being freed from this. Does that make sense? All right, show us more here, please, for Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Behind the scenes energy. There's a lot going on behind the scenes that you don't see happening. Confusion. Confusion and conflict may be going on at this time. And Halloween, something significant about this holiday. So Capricorn, you could either be moving now or closer to Halloween, or there could be something about you moving and then there's some sort of situation that then happens around that time frame. Time frame, because I do feel like you guys are obviously leveling up and moving into a new state of your life. Do not allow yourself to push and pull back and forth with that ego. That's where we get stuck. Yeah, submerged emotions muse and performer capricorn stop playing small <clears throat> stop playing small let's um Show us what we need to see here, please, for Capricorn. Mm. But what if I get there and it's that, and that energy latches on to the, to the past, to the BS. It's like this person is trying to feed into your energy. The tower. Mars energy. Knight of Cups. Wow, Ace of Wands and King of Coins. You are going to be blindsided here, Capricorn. Don't like stop worrying. When you finally decide to make this full on change, full on move, you're going to be blindsided by a blessing. And it's going to feel so good. And you're going to be like, damn, I can't believe I was really trying to hold on to something that was so small. And there's nothing there. Like there, it's not like there's anything wrong with it. It's just, you know where your energy is and you know what you're meant for. And this shit right here, when somebody is trying to pull you back into their space, they're leeching on to that weakness and they're leeching onto the weakness in the ego. And then you can feel that as an intuitive, as an empath. And if this person knows you, they know how to play on that energy. Okay. Yeah. Wheel of fortune, five of cups, ace of cups. Concerned that if I make this change, this ain't going to 
play out the way it needs to play out. Oh, it's going to play out the way it needs to play out because you got the, the, yeah, the freaking chariot underneath of that. It's going to play out the way it needs to play out. And you're going to meet somebody so motherfucking amazing. Tell us about this. Yeah, look at this. Six of Wands. Ten of Swords. Two of Cups. Ace of Coins at the bottom of the deck. Victory after sacrifice. Victory after sacrifice. Hold on. Victory after sacrifice, Capricorn. Ace of Pentacles, Page of Wands, Ten of Cups. You can feel it coming. You can feel it coming, but you have to sacrifice some shit. You got to let it go. Let it go. Let it go. We ain't doing this shit no more. Like. <laughs> I'm just saying. Dang, Capricorn. This shit's serious. This right here is my swag. Mm -hmm. Pretty boy swag. Hey. We're about to have a dance party. So we have children. Your love life is being affected by children. So some of you are actually dealing with children. Some of you are dealing with that co-parenting type of situation. Um, and this person is really trying to play on the weaknesses here. You know, I, I feel like Capricorn, spiritually you are elevating and spiritually you are attracting new love and new energy into your life. But there can be this effect of even the past, whether it's children or not, like whether it's like your inner child or ch physical children, it's about not letting that be the effect of your detriment. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive, Capricorn. You doing what is best for yourself and you doing what is opposite of what this person wants you to do just makes the pull more. So you have to really make this complete in order to, yeah, 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 yeah. One more. Healing family issues. Exactly. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. There is a deeper, deeper root to why this is is still being felt and why this is still kind of coming up and it's because of where that root is <sighs> bottom of the deck is finances and career this could be the one and soulmate a lot of you are finding new jobs and then finding new love some of you are finding new career opportunities and then finding new love some of you are stepping into new money and then finding new love so i'm just gonna leave that with that all right, you guys, I'm going to leave this here. This was a beautiful reading. I hope you found it insightful and that it resonated. If you did, you guys know what to do. Smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and I will speak to you all in the next video. Bye. It don't want to work, y'all.